Welcome to Gruber Motors. Today we are going to show you how we pull a Model S battery pack out and open it up for the repair process. We start by opening up the frunk and disabling the high voltage first responders loop and low voltage 12 volt battery cable. The Tesla is then placed up on one of our car lifts, which has our custom adapters made in-house at our machine shop. Generally, we lift the Tesla up to our technician's eye level, but the height can vary when working underneath. We bring over our toolbox and start by removing specific bolts underneath the battery. We then remove both of the shear plates on the subframe. It's important to note in this step that we do not remove all the bolts, or else our technicians might get flattened like a pancake. Now we lower the car onto the battery and gurney. We make sure it's evenly aligned under the battery. After removing the remaining bolts, we lift the Tesla back up to expose the main battery pack. You can see there's both plastic sheeting and a flame retardant blanket on top. The first thing we will remove is the plastic sheeting that acts as a waterproof vapor barrier for the battery. Under that is the fire retardant blanket that protects the upper body of the Tesla from extreme heat should the battery burst into flames. We then remove the larger sealing disc bolts on top of the battery cover, and then move to the smaller bolts in each of the rows and edges. The clean-as-you-go method applies to this process since there's dried caulk from the bolts and in between the top lid and battery pack. After removing the bolts, we transition into using tools designed to separate the sealing putty between the layers. We even have to use a razor blade in some of the areas the tools don't fit. This is the longest and most tedious process when removing the battery pack. The first section of the cover that gets removed is the penthouse compartment, which usually stores two additional battery modules in the larger packs, 85 kilowatt hour and above. Once that's removed, the cover edges are then slowly peeled up all the way around, and then several of our technicians come in for the final stages of the cover removal. To ensure future use, we carefully remove the cover, making sure it does not roll onto itself and get bent or damaged. The lid will ease up and off after all the caulk is removed, and then it can be placed aside. The gold fire suppressant sheets are removed next to expose each of the battery modules. And now that we have repaired this battery pack, we are going to reassemble it, put the lid back on, and put this pack back up inside the car. Thank you for watching our videos. Make sure that you hit your notification bell because we're going to have a lot more of this type of content coming your way. I'm Pete Gruber. Thank you for visiting our channel.